This is the part of hustling in Canada that people do not show you. The first job in Canada. Sweeping and cleaning people's houses for a fee. Want to know how things can be turned around? Please keep watching. Getting a job in Canada is not always easy, as with any other job search. And oftentimes, immigrants have to take up odd jobs in order to survive. But this is not always the case. So many immigrants, including myself, we were able to land jobs as soon as we got into Canada. Now, that video you saw of me sweeping was just to uh, get your attention. <laughs> uh, because that is the general misconception amongst immigrants. But that is not the reality. Fear not. You can land a white collar job as soon as you get to Canada. I was able to get an HR job within one month of getting to Canada. How did I do it? I will give you a number of tips, but let me start with the basics. I was applying light, left, right and center. And when I was able to get an interview, I made sure that I looked the part. I looked good. Speaking of looking good, have you guys noticed my beautiful jewelry? Have you seen my earrings? Have you noticed my lovely neck piece and my bracelet? In fact, wait, let me show you where my lovely bracelets <laughs> yes now that you have seen it well these lovely pieces are from a company called Ana Luisa they make very lovely jewelry Ana Luisa is a company based out of New York they craft high quality jewelry pieces at very affordable prices just me go do the packaging now and the soft cotton pouches they are so cute and eco-friendly their designs are very unique and they make you feel empowered elegant and at your finest like when i wore these pieces i was like what look at this beauty of a jewelry a speck uh -uh. and Luisa has something for everyone and i absolutely recommend them as soon as I got my pieces, eh, ha, when I opened it, I was like, what? If you know me well, jewelry is not really my thing. But these ones, I've been wearing them almost every day since I got them. And the number of compliments that I have gotten, honestly, I can't even count. They're so comfortable, so lovely, so beautiful. And guys, you know, say if I see better twin, I have to involve my people. Because you guys are my family. I will give giving you a 10% discount on every purchase you make on the Anna Luisa website. Check out their website, check out any lovely jewelry that you want and use the link in the description box. That link is my special discount code for you guys, my wonderful family. So yes, guys, if you want to look this, this beautiful, please make sure that you check them out. So how did I get my first job in Canada? I got my first job in Canada on LinkedIn. Now, I was trying everything. I was trying Indeed.ca. I was sleeping, eating, waking up on Indeed.ca and LinkedIn. And suddenly this job opportunity opened up. I did my interviews and I nailed it. And that was how I got my job. Now, this is also, a, this, this story is similar to so many other stories of um, other immigrants who were able to secure jobs now one of the tips is that look sometimes you need to be ready to go a level lower than where you're coming from in your home country and that was what i did in my home country i was already an hr business partner an hr advisor but the job i got was that of an hr coordinator but what did i do i did not say no to it i went for the job because i knew that i needed to get my foot in the door and I knew that when I get into the door, I would be able to show my value. I don't regret that decision one bit because after nine months of that job, I got promoted to an HR business partner role. And that is what, that is my advice for you today. If you're looking at that job and you're saying, well, no, 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 I've been working for 10 years in, in, in HR or whatever profession I'm in and I can't take a lower job, that I would say that that's the wrong move try to take the job is about getting your foot in the door what did i do as well 
as soon as I landed, I started a program at Sheridan College. Now this was an HR specific program. It was, it was a full program, but I, what I did was when I even registered for one course, I put Sheridan College on my resume. And that's what I always advise anybody. You might not necessarily have to finish the entire program, but as soon as you register, <laughs> just put it on your resume because you are looking for things that would give you an edge when it comes to applying for a job. It's no secret that recruiters are favorable or act more favorably to resumes that have some sort of Canadian experience or some sort of Canadian education. And that is why you need to do this. Now, what are also the advantages of even starting small? I have to be honest, I'm speaking about HR specifically. I was able to learn the basics of practicing HR in Canada from a lower level with less pressure. Imagine you being an, an you are supposed to be an expert um, and you know, you've gotten the job to be an expert, but meanwhile, you don't know some of the basic things. It might not go well for you. So starting small, I was able to kind of learn so much and I was able to build myself up such that when I became an HR business partner, it was an easier route for me. One of the other advantages it gave me was that I was able to learn the Canadian culture at a much lower level, like I said, with less pressure. I was able to just blend in with my colleagues, you know, learn everything that I needed to learn at that level, such that when I got to the point where I was, I now had to converse with senior leadership, you know, I had built my confidence over time. So that is another advantage. Now, one of the other tips I will mention is Anna Lewis, not Anna Luisa. You see, this is what happens when you wear very fine jewelry. You just keep mentioning the name. Not Anna Luisa, that was not the point. <laughs> the point actually was that, look, you need to start showing value as soon as you get in. Once you get that job, start showing value. Because when you do so, they will know that, okay, this person, ah, even if he came, the person came in as a coordinator, hmm, seems like they, they have the potential to be a manager. And when a role opens up, you are the first person that they are going to look at. Okay, so that is another tip that I will give you. Now, the other tip as well is that, look, patience is a, <laughs> is a virtue that you have to develop. Don't be discouraged and don't always focus on the negative stories that you hear about immigrants, which is why I'm doing this video, because I want to encourage you. It's just me encouraging you because I know that there are so many people like me who also secure these jobs. So patience is one virtue that you need to develop when you're applying. Sometimes it can get tiring when you have to apply over and over again and tailor your resume to different applications, but you just have to keep at it. Keep at it and eventually you get it. And apply early. I keep saying this in every video. Apply early, set up your alerts for indeed.ca, for LinkedIn, for you know Robert Half, all those companies. Set them up and make sure that as soon as you see an application, you apply early. Now, I'm going to assume that the people I'm talking to are people that have already um, done their Canadian style resume because that's even the first step. If you need any help with that, I have a video that I'm going to link up here on the Canadian style resume. That is your first step. Once your resume is good and you look good on paper, it gives you the opportunity to get your foot in the door, i.e. to pass through the ATS and for you to get a call for your first interview. And when you have the opportunity to interview, my God, please bring in everything that you have. <laughs> All the skills that you have, you have, please bring them in. It's not also about just technical skills. Personality is very important. You need to smile. You need to smile in this life. Not every time you have to be squeezing your face. You need to make sure that you smile, okay? Because that is the sort of culture that is here in Canada. It's, it's probably different from your home country. You need to make sure that you bring everything you have to that interview. Your personality, your technical skills, and when it all comes together, they will know that this is the person for the job. And if you need any help with interviewing skills or how to interview for jobs in Canada, I have so many resources that can help you. I will link a video up here. Uh, no, not here. Up here. <laughs> I will link my video on how to land a job in Canada. If you watch that video, you'll get so many tips that would help you. Guys, 
you need to land that job. You can land that job without any issues. Now to my final point. As you are looking for a job, also be developing yourself. Okay, even when I landed my job, I continued with my Sheridan program just because, like I said, it makes sense to have a Canadian education. So whatever you need to do to put yourself in a better step, keep doing it. Do courses, even if it's one course online, just do it. Something that puts you in a better step. Keep developing yourself so that when that job comes or when that interviewing opportunity comes, it will make sense and you'll be able to land it. And then finally, really, in terms of being realistic with the situation, of course, you need to know when you might need to take up a, I don't want to say an odd job, but take up a survival job. And I will have a full video where I'll talk about survival jobs, but you just have to be realistic with yourself because at the end of the day, you need to survive in Canada, right? You have bills to pay, so you know when you have kept looking for a job and nothing is coming and you need to take up a survival job while you are developing yourself and while you are still applying for your main job. So guys, if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Remember, check out Annalisa's website. They have gorgeous pieces for you. Guys, buy for your partners. Girls, you know, just make sure you check out that website, honestly. You will not regret it. And remember to use my discount link in the description box, the 10% discount link. I mean, what's better than that, right? And do not forget the summer hangout. If you're interested in a physical meetup this summer and you live in the GTA, please make sure you use um, the link in the description box to fill out the form to indicate your interest. I am so excited and I'm looking forward to meeting you. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, make sure you share this video to encourage someone. Encourage someone, let them know that they can land a job in Canada. Encourage someone. And you know how we roll. I'll see you on my next video.